Hi everyone, my name is Brian. Today we're going to tell you about the environmental benefits of a hydroponic system. So as you know, a hydroponic system is a man-made creation for growing vegetables or fruits or plants. It's not in the soil. So that being said, there's no land erosion involved with a hydroponic system. So in a typical uh, natural plant growing atmosphere, you're going to need soil and you're going to have the plants. Usually farmers rotate Throughout the season, farmers will rotate their plants to prevent the soil from being eroded by one plant sitting in that area for too long. And with the hydroponic system, since you're not digging into the ground, you don't have to keep on moving your plants and your soil will not get eroded by the plants. Additionally, when a plant is growing in the soil, it needs to spend energy digging into the soil to find the nutrients. However, in a hydroponic system, instead of using that energy to dig into the soil, the energy gets directly put into helping the plant grow because the nutrients in the water are directly absorbed by the roots. The plant doesn't have to dig through the hydroponic system to find that uh, to find the nutrients. So the energy helps the plant grow bigger, bushier, uh, leafier, it helps your final product taste better. Also, in the soil, uh, there are weeds that might compete with the plants, but because of the hydroponic system where the soil is um, eliminated, the weeds won't grow, so the plant won't have to compete with other uh, substances to, for the nutrients. I'm only one call. Also, with the hydroponic system, you won't need to use pesticide because there's um, there's no soil, so that means there's no bacteria and there's no insects that can harm the uh, the plants. So um, that won't harm the roots of the plants, and also the um, the pesticides won't run off into the water and pollute the water supply. <laughs> So since these hydroponic systems are mobile, we won't be having to um, transfer crops from place to place. Um, no seed transmission, no air transmission, and no um, land transportation. So we'll reduce the use of greenhouse gases and of uh, carbon emissions. Now as Michael said earlier, the hydroponic system can be used basically anywhere you want. Uh, whether at the Des Sahara Desert or up there in Greenland where temperatures are ice uh, below freezing, these hydroponic systems don't need the natural resource rich outside environment or the rich soil. Um, so in doing so, you're cutting down these trans transportation costs, but in the process, you're also saving a lot of land mass because you're saving the trees that would normally be cut down to get the plots of land, and you're also preserving the wildlife by uh, not cutting down the trees. Now, in fact, you're saving almost 50% of land mass. So once again, it ties into the land, er the land erosion um, subject where you're preventing land erosion because you're not destroying the natural land around you. So previously we mentioned that harmful uh, chemicals such as pesticides and herbicides are not necessary for a uh, hydroponic system. Additionally, something that might usually be seen as a benefit, fertilizer, is also drastically decreased in a hydroponic system. Now fertilizer can actually be very toxic. In a hydroponic system, we have the hydroponic growing solution which circulates inside the system. We're not going to use the fertilizer which can often crystallize and settle into the soil. Uh, this crystallization can be very toxic for the soil since fertilizers after all are chemical substances that are man-made. Additionally, the fertilizer can run the risk of running into the water, into lakes, ponds, rivers, or any other natural water area. Now, when the, by, when the toxic byproduct runs into the into the rivers and the lakes and the ponds, you run the risk of causing eutrophication. Eutrophication is when excessive amounts of chemical substances, such as a fertilizer, are located in the ponds and rivers. And this is, our, this is a form of water pollution that hydroponic systems drastically cut down. Additionally, additionally the, fer the fertilization creation process can be very toxic to the environment too because you need compounds such as ammonia and fluoride to make these fertilizers. And because a hydroponic system does not require that much fertilizers, in some cases, no fertilizer at all, you're drastically saving the environment around you. Ooh, it's just me, myself. So even though a hydroponic system uses a lot of water, there's still much less water being used in a hydroponic system than a traditional farm. Um, Two-thirds of the world's water supply is used to grow crops. And um, with a hydroponic system, that number is reduced by 90%. Um, a hydroponic system helps to re um, reduce water shortages in places such as California because it's always reusing the water and none's going to waste. So this could really help places that are facing water shortages. Um, and this is just uh, one of the many environmental benefits that come with a hydroponic system. 
And there are also other benefits, such as economic benefits, um, that come with it. So thanks for watching. Uh, 1738.